The well-known British novelist Zadie Smith released her book on beauty in 2005. Smith is renowned for her books that empathetically, clearly, and nuancedly examine the intersections of identity in the modern world. The renowned English novelist E. M. Forster is also said to have had an impact on her. Howard's End, Forster's masterwork, serves as a vague inspiration for On Beauty. The plot, concepts, and characterizations of the book all show glimpses of this influence. On Beauty, which is divided into three sections, examines the idea of beauty through the internal and external conflicts of people who are having a hard time accepting who they are. It's a work of modern literary fiction that embraces a variety of worldviews and is indicative of current political challenges. The trials faced by the Belzey family are shown at the start of the story. The father, Englishman Howard Belzey, teaches art history at Wellington College, which is located not far from Boston. Jerome, Zora, and Levi are his three children with his wife Kiki. Jerome is studying in England under the guidance of black conservative intellectual Monty Kipps, who has a long-standing grudge against Howard. Living with Monty's family while pursuing his studies, Jerome develops romantic feelings for Victoria, Monty's daughter. After being engaged, they call it off right away. Jerome is despondent when he returns to the United States, and his family's foundation is also weak. Claire Malcolm, a fellow Wellington faculty member and close family friend, and Howard have had an affair. Even though Kiki has been making an effort to forgive Howard, the knowledge that Claire was the lady in question and that it was more than just the one-night affair Howard had first acknowledged to, enrages her even more. The members of the Belzey family are also negotiating their black identities. The youngest son, Levi, comes from a privileged mixed-race household, yet he finds himself drawn to black street culture. The daughter, Zora, wants to pursue her father's academic career but finds it difficult to establish herself as an African-American woman and an art historian. The Kipps family, who are devoted to the preservation of black culture in ways that appear excessive to the Belzies, stand in stark contrast to the difficult connection the Belzies have with race. When Monty takes a temporary lectureship at Wellington, putting both families in the same neighborhood, Howard and Monty's rivalry threatens to worsen. Even though Howard and Kiki decide to stay in the same home, their marriage implodes. Jerome makes an effort to turn his life around. Zora enters Claire's poetry class and accuses her of receiving unfair treatment because of her private problems with Howard. Zora spots a dashing young man who sat next to her at a Mozart performance at a poetry event in the city. Despite the fact that Carl is not a Wellington student, Claire invites him to audit her poetry class since he's the finest rapper of the evening. Claire persuades Zora to support her in a next faculty meeting because her choice to admit unenrolled students is divisive. Levi Meanwhile, has been trudging through class to peddle phony luxury handbags with a new set of Roxbury Pals. Howard keeps working, and everyone is nervous about the faculty meeting that is coming up since Howard wants to halt Monty's lectures. Attending one of Howard's classes, Victoria has captured his attention. Although Kiki and Monty's wife Carlene have become friends, Kiki worries about Carlene's health and her controlling husband. Carlene passes away from cancer that she refused to tell her family about. Although she gives Kiki her painting of the goddess Urzuli, the Kipps family destroys her letter in order to preserve the priceless artwork within the family. The Belzies go to London for Carlene's funeral. Following the ceremony, Howard goes to his father's home, where they argue. Victoria and Howard sneak into bed during Carlene's funeral. Zora effectively safeguards unenrolled students' ability to audit courses at Wellington after returning. Howard's attempt to stop Monty's provocative lecture series is unsuccessful.
Carl accepts a position at Wellington as a hip-hop archivist, but Zora is dismayed that he no longer cares about her efforts to keep him enrolled in Claire's poetry class because of his new career. Victoria sends Howard intimate emails in an attempt to get his attention, but he rejects her in a hotel room, so she ends up moving on to Carl. During spring break, when Jerome returns from college, he and Zora attend a party where they see Carl and Victoria having intercourse. Zora approaches Carl, but he exposes her as a hypocrite with a superiority attitude who is attempting to force her wants on him. Carl discloses that Monty has been having an affair with Chantel, a young intern, while also making references to their father's infidelity with Victoria. Carl laments joining the academic society after seeing its moral bankruptcy. Zora is summoned to the dean's emergency meeting. The Urzuli artwork that Monty had hanging in the Black Studies department was stolen. He accuses Carl of stealing, but Zora advises him to find out from his daughter if he's interested in knowing Carl's location on the night of the crime. Kiki discovers the picture in Levi's room in the Belzee residence. In an effort to recover what they feel Monty has taken from the Haitian community, Levi and his buddy Chu, an immigrant from Haiti, grabbed it from Wellington. Zora approaches her father to discuss the rumors she has heard about his extramarital affair with Victoria. After their breakup, Kiki moves out on her own. When Jerome discovers a letter attached to the painting, evidence that Carlene left it for Kiki, she takes Monty to court to prove her ownership of the piece. Howard is making a crucial lecture in an effort to save his failing career. The sight of Kiki's presence fills him with optimism. If you have any suggestion of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, Please like and subscribe.